Hello students. Today we are going to study about the chapter Motion and Time of a Science Class 7 NCRT Textbook. We have already learnt about the different types of motions. In this chapter we will study about how motion is related to time and measurement of time. Let's revise what we have learnt in our previous class. The different types of motions are rectilinear motion, that is, motion of an object along a straight line. Example, the motion of a car on a straight road. Circular motion, motion of an object along a circular path. Example, motion of the earth around the sun. Rotational motion, motion of an object turning about its own axis. Example, spinning of the act of a top on its axis. Periodic motion, motion of an object that repeats itself after regular intervals of time. Example, motion of a swing. If we look around, we will see that some vehicles move fast and some vehicles move slowly. We see a number of vehicles like cars, bicycles, scooters and buses and trucks moving on the road. Some are moving slow while others are moving fast. If we observe them for 5 minutes, we can easily tell which vehicle is slow and which is faster. We are able to tell this by the distance covered by these vehicles. Slower vehicles cover less distance and faster ones cover more distance. Hence, to determine which object is moving faster or slower than the other, we need to compare the distance they cover in the same time. The object that moves faster has a higher speed. Now what is speed? Speed is the distance covered by a particular object in a specific time. We can calculate the speed of an object if we know the distance travelled by the object and the time taken to cover that distance. So, how do we calculate speed? Speed is the total distance covered divided by the total time taken. For example, a car travels a distance of 100 kilometers in 2 hours. Then, the speed of the car is calculated as 100 kilometers divided by 2 hours, which means 50 kilometers per hour. We are all aware that in the starting, a car moves slow, that means it has slow speed, and then it gradually picks up speed. The speed of the car keeps changing and hence it is sometimes slow and sometimes fast. In the above example, when we say that the speed of the car is 50 km per hour, it means that the average speed of the car is 50 km per hour. During that one hour, the speed of the car may be sometimes more than 50 km and sometimes less than 50 km. Hence, the speed of the car does not remain constant. So, speed that is calculated above is actually the average speed. So, the average speed is the total distance covered divided by the total time taken. 
Now let's learn about the units of speed. Units of speed are that speed can be measured in kilometers per hour. It can also be expressed as meters per second. Thank you.